This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Ionti Dahl, and behind me here is the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. You know, I tested it in Thailand, but that was only the 90 kilometers per hour test. I want to test 120 also over here today. But so when I tested in Thailand, it was roughly 20 degrees Celsius. Now I think we have similar temperature. So, you know, this car comes from the same factors one we test in Thailand, it's from Shanghai. So will we get the same consumption here in Norway? Let's find out. Yeah, uh, well, except, except for that, uh, the tires here are not, not the same. We have pilots, Michelin Pilot Sport EV. And then the mentioned 255, 40, 20. Hey, oh, it's rare again. Is this staggered? No, okay, it's not staggered, okay. So other than that, in here, looks just the same. So, yeah, um, we will just drive, we will do the 120 test first now. Uh, hopefully we don't run into too much traffic. So I'm not sure Espa or Strandlitschan back again. You take that loop, reset everything, and then we see, uh, it's 19 degrees Celsius outside. So very similar to Thailand, right? Hmm, let's see then. Right, we're on the move, so it's Saturday at noon right now, so there's some uh, holiday traffic and a few left lane huggers, so yeah, okay, good, good, he moved out just in time, but he might pull, yeah, I mean, what, what is the point, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, but then, uh, yeah, we'll see, <laughs> yeah, now he's slow poking in left lane, okay, so now my speed is lower, uh, and I caught some, whoa, what the heck, man, woman, oh man, Shit! Come on, okay, well, just get out of the left lane, please, so I can... No, you just, they're trying to sabotage for me. Man, left lane huggers club, they never take vacation. Uh, I have to compensate by going a little bit faster for the rest of the leg. Yeah, leg, oh. oh. well, okay, yeah, let me just speed up a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Ideally, I want to have a clean run, but it's hard to uh, get a clean run but even though this model y comes from shanghai just like the other model y's i tested well except for the one didn't from giga berlin i feel like it's quieter you know despite having 20 inch wheels even you can get them in 19 if you want even better uh, soundproof uh, sound levels so i wonder if tesla did something uh, with the soundproofing so i also measured uh, yeah i did the noise test um, and I look in the table, I have tested so many Model Ys over the years and uh, this one is the quietest of them all. The, there is actually several decibels different between this one and uh, the first one I tried around two years ago. So yeah, when uh, you get a similar sound level as uh, more premium cars like BMW and Audi, uh, Mercedes, it's right, right there. All right, the result is 202 watt hour per kilometer. Whoa, that is actually higher than the long range. Wow, but the long range had different rims and also different tires and it's slightly warmer. Okay, let's try the 90 test then. All right, this time we have to cruise at 91 kilometers per hour to match 90 GPS speed. So Tesla in general, they're very, very accurate when it comes to speed, speedo. Uh, for example, um, Kia, that Kia EV6 GT I'm testing nowadays. You have to cruise at 95 here to be 90 GPS speed. Okay, so uh, yeah, last time I didn't turn around at Espa, I turned around at Strandlich over here. I think I will also go to the same place and turn around there. I don't need to do a full measurement now because I already tested it uh, during 1000 km challenge. This car measures distance exactly. And then how's Mjösten today? Oh, almost no wind. Well, actually, no wind. Whoa, that is very nice. Ah, she. They're doing work in the tunnel here. Oh, so now it's 60 kilometers per hour limited. So which means that this run will be lower speed uh, and lower consumption. Man, it messes up my test. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so uh, we compensate by going a little bit faster for not too long. So I will slow down to 91 kilometers per hour again soon. So yeah, we just have to A, B, C, always be compensating. Huh, look at this, 143 watt hour per kilometer. It's right on par with the uh, other results in Norway, but uh, nowhere near as good as the one in Thailand. So 
I suspect that <laughs> in Thailand we have better consumption because of better weather or uh, something. I'm not sure because this one should have the less efficient, uh, no, less powerful but more efficient motor. So uh, yeah, we just can't get the same result as in Thailand, seems like. Okay, let's check the weight. And the whole car. Oh, 20 kilograms more than Thailand. Hmm. Okay, so based on these results, you see that uh, we get almost 400 kilometers of range. I guess that's okay, yeah. Uh, slightly worse than in Thailand. So, you know, this means that in Thailand, it's really good to drive EV. Well, actually, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what, why was it lower? It could be because in Thailand, we have 19 inch wheels and the aerodynamics rims and maybe the tires, but the, we have EV tires here. Uh, but uh, the car in Thailand had tint. So, you know, the tinting, if that reduces uh, heat uh, or AC power, well, how much are you pulling now? We're actually pulling one kilowatt while just stationary. So think about this. If we can reduce it by, let's say 500 watts, uh, or let's say, okay, quick mount 45 watts, and we are driving at 90 kilometers per hour. That is five watt hour per kilometer, quick mount. So then we are suddenly down to 130 something. Yeah, and then some tires, something. I don't know, maybe the roads in Thailand are better. Then suddenly we might be at 129 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah. But okay, so um, I think the last thing I will do with this car is to go on a Sunday drive. Uh, it will probably not be any groundbreaking thing. Uh, but also, yeah, let's try it. As I want to know, we also did Sunday driving in Thailand. It was really good results. So we should not get that good result here then. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see in a couple of days. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.